We're talking today with Brock Faust and Veronica Luke from Nottoway Public Water Supply District Number 1, located in Maryville, Missouri. The district installed approximately 2,800 meters over a 1,000 square mile area with 1,600 miles of mains. Brock is a professional engineer with White Cloud Engineering and selected the Metron Farnier VN Verizon-based cellular AMI system for the district. Thank you, Brock, for taking time today to discuss Nottoway's decision to go with the VN system. Let's get started with a few questions and how you selected the AMI system and how the district is able to manage the system now that the system is fully deployed. So Brock, what were the drivers to select the Metron Farnier VN cellular AMI system and low flow Altair meters? The, the district for, a, for long years, the district was formed in 74. And up until this project had been going on self-read meters where the customers were reading their own meters on 30-day cycles. And it was, number one, it was a real mess because the billing was basically on a 60-day cycle. Then, then the district staff had to, had to read the meters also once a year to, to verify. And there was a lot of issues with that. And our district here has about 1,700 miles of line in a thousand square mile district with 2,700 customers, and they only have three staff. So obviously it was a real, a real mess to try to keep the, the meter reading accurate, up to date. And that had nothing to do with water loss because they were running about 19 or 20% water loss, oh, 17 or 18 historically which is about one hundred and seventy or eighty thousand dollars a year that those twenty seven hundred customers were losing because of water loss. So over the past five or six years, we were scratching our heads about how to do this uh, and not break the bank. And so they had us look at different options. Obviously, drive bys, in my opinion, and well, the district, that was all well and good, except that meant that somebody from the district was going to have to drive seventeen hundred miles a month to get the reads. Well, what good does that do for water loss that, that gave nothing because they would have no idea where water was going except on those 30 day increments. And to look at radio reads, the, the guy that helped us with that, uh, Roger Bundridge from Northwest Missouri Cellular, a Verizon partner also, they were gonna have to put up 22 uh, radio read sites, antenna sites in addition to using the district standpipes, pump stations and telemetry. And it was gonna be astronomical to, to make that work. So if we weren't gonna do cell, we weren't gonna do anything. So that that obviously was, was untenable. So then we got to looking around the different varieties. We needed to have a Verizon partner and we needed you know some low flow capabilities because what we were, we were looking at some old meters that had been in there for some of those meters, I'm sad to say, had been in there since the original. So that was also a real serious issue as water costs go up and we don't wanna be running around trying to find out where there's leaks. Turns out there's not a leak, it's just the meter's not registering. So that's why we hit upon that system. And then I, I checked the references and we did some quite a bit of soul searching about which model to use and what, you know, uh, cost was some, issue, but not really. We had reliability. We had customer service. We had, you know, a lot of local stuff from the Midwest because Metron was putting in a lot of systems here in the Midwest close by. It's all, all been pretty easy. And so we, we decided to go that way. And from my perspective, anyway, we're very pleased. And what the, what the district did financing wise, the district agreed to just raise the minimum cost five bucks. And then they ate the rest of the costs and they're making a, a considerable amount more than that back in water savings. They've already saved, oh, I, I'm guessing 90 to $100,000 in, in water, in lost water, because the, the water loss now is down around, oh, it's in the single digits somewhere, barely under 10%. The other item that, that they decided to do was put in a bunch of zone meters so that we not only have the individual customers, but we have zones where there's nine or 10 zones and we dovetailed the Metron system with the existing system that the providers have. So we can also access on the water scope system what the purchase water meters are reading every day. Therefore, the, the district personnel don't have to go check the meters. 
I, I would say one the the only bad thing I can see in the whole deal going forward is we're going to have to chase the guys out to find the meters now and to look at the meters where before they knew where they were all the time and knew what condition they were in because they had to check them all the time. Well, now they don't, and the customers don't have to check them. So that's going to be a little bit of a, of a preventive maintenance thing where we still need to drive around once a year, at least, and look at them and make sure everything's in good shape. So so that's that's the, the nutshell of the choice. It's very interesting, and you're kind of leading into the next question, but after deployment of the system, what are the most important benefits to the district, and how are they being utilized to manage the system? Yeah, the most important thing is is very is very simple. The most important thing is that the customers, which we can't lose sight of the fact that the customers are the ones who are we're doing this for, the customers now don't have to read their own meter, and the staff here in the office has been able to make several hundred phone calls to the customers to tell them they have a leak. So the customers are very happy with this. Not only they don't have to read their meters, but their their water consumption has dropped because we've been able to tell them when they have a leak, hundreds of them. So there was cross connections that we found. There was a lot of situations that were really not not very good. And, and we've been able to stop a lot of that and the, the customers are happy and they're the ones who are driving the train here. Great information. Thanks, Brock, for your time today. We really appreciate you helping us out here and answering a couple questions. Thanks so much for your time. Sure. Now we're with Veronica Luke and Veronica, I would like you to introduce yourself and tell us what you do for Nottoway County One. Okay, um, I am currently the district clerk for the Public Water Supply District Number One of Nottoway County. In essence, I'm the fiscal agent for the office side. They have contracted me to handle the billing services, the financial side of things. So I have a staff under me, two full-time employees that help with this job. We collect the money, we do the billings, we pay the bills, we do pretty much if there's money involved that goes to the district, we handle it in this office. Great, thank you. How do the customer service tools within WaterScope help you and your staff do your job each day? To kind of bounce off what Brock said, you know, the leaks daily, the WaterScope app gives us emails of customers that it detects with leaks. We're able to pick up the phone, call the customer, let them know what's going on. They are very, very thankful for that. Some of the other tools that we're very, very happy with would be um, temperatures. You know, here in Missouri, it can get very cold. So it, we have a certain threshold set in the system. It will email us when the temperature in a pit falls below a certain degree. We're able to go out, see if the Peter pit needs attention. Maybe somebody's got on there and left the lid off. Maybe it needs insulated. So that's a very valuable tool. The billing, we love that the billing is accurate and up to date. As Brock said, you know, we were close to 60 days behind. Now we can pull meter reads on the 20th the month, bill them at the end of the month. So that helps clean up some cash flow issues also. Another thing we really liked the other day we hadn't got the opportunity to use was unauthorized use. Say for example, a renter moves out of a rental property, somebody moves in, turns it on that shouldn't, you know, we got notification that there was unauthorized water use. So our biggest thing is if when water's unaccounted for, that's money lost to the district. And if the district's losing money, they've got to increase, you know, you got to make it up somewhere. So we've got to increase water rates and we don't want to do that so the biggest thing we love is that we are able to pretty much account for every bit of water that we're purchasing and selling to the customers thank you now getting back to the billing question can you describe your experience with the transition to web-based monthly billing with waterscope we were doing monthly billing the old way you know what i mean however like i said it was 60 days out we were actually having to input the meter reads manually by hand for every meter into our system. The transition went very well. The people at your company were very good at working with our billing company. And they worked together to help create that file that we're able to import and export that file in and yeah, out of water. Yes, yep. yes. They did a very nice job. They made sure it was pretty flawless, you know. And they were very timely at it, but it was a very good, clean transition. So it worked out very well. Thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate you helping us with this video and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.